Hello Vita Editors, my name is Tudo and I'm a DaVinci Resolve certified user. In this tutorial, you will learn my two favorite ways to place text behind any moving objects using DaVinci Resolve 18. We are going to use a simple and fast way that is available in the free version and another one that can be done only in the studio version. If you don't have the studio yet, don't worry, I got you covered. Check the giveaway in the description and see how you can win the studio license and the speed editor. Now, let's jump to Resolve and don't forget to leave a comment with your favorite method. The first method works best if there is a high contrast between the foreground and the background. It's fast, but it's not perfect. I have already the video prepared on the video track 1 and next we will need to add the text. For that, open the effects panel. From toolbox, select titles and drag and drop the text on the video track 2. Make sure the length of the text matches the length of the video. By default, you will see a basic text that can be changed. Select the text and open the inspector. Make sure title is selected and change the title to text. Increase the size by moving the size slider to the right. For this effect to work, Let's change the color of the text. I will go with blue and press OK. Only one step is left and the text will go behind our character. For that, go to settings and change the composite mode. For this example, darker color works best. Let's see the final result, but as I said, this method is not perfect and the text will go behind all the things that are darker. Next, we are going to look at the second method and the effect that we are going to use is one of my favorite features added in the new version, called Depth Map. For this effect to work, we need to organize our footage on three layers, or three video tracks. Video track 1 will be used for our background, video track 2 for our text and video track 3 for the character. Now let's change the text and the size of the text. I will use the text giveaway just to remind you about my international giveaway. It will be a fantastic prize for one of you. Moving on, let's duplicate video track 1 to video track 3. We can do that by pressing Option on a Mac or Alt on a Windows machine. Next, let's add the depth map from the effects panel. Choose Open Effects and type Depth. Now you can see the depth map effect that can be applied to the video track 3. You will start to see something like this. The depth map is creating an alpha channel based on distance. That means everything that you see in white will be visible on screen. Black will be transparent. Next, open the inspector, go to the effects tab and let me show you what can be adjusted for this effect. Depth Map is a very computational intensive effect and for now I will switch the quality from better to faster. You can uncheck the preview to see the current progress. Not good at all so far, but we can move to the next section. From resulting map adjustment, check the adjust map level. Here we need to change the slider of the near limit. You can see already the text behind the person, but from my experience, I have better results when I'm working with a depth map preview, so I will check that. I will continue now to adjust the values of the near limit and gamma and I want to see my character as wide as possible, but do not exaggerate. That's because we can improve the results by using the next section about isolation. Again, we need to play with the sliders. Let's see what we have so far after the render is complete. To improve even more, we can use the next section by checking the post-processing and adjust the sliders again. If you are happy with the result, we can switch back the quality to better. OK. This should be good enough for this tutorial. Let's see the final results. That's all for this tutorial. 
I wish you a wonderful day and see you next time.